Peace guys, welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Yannique. I make content around spirituality, psycho spirituality, just generic conscious talks, you know, um, issues within our community, psychological issues within the human being and the spiritual journey. Um, sometimes I'll add a little vlog here and there or when I travel vlog. If you like what you see, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and you know, drop a comment below um, and let's, you know, get to know each other and talk some more. So guys, I'm going to jump straight into this video, I'm going to try and make it brief and to the point and punchy. Um, so today I wanted to speak to you guys about toxic positivity. Yes, toxic positivity. It sounds almost insane that the two, you know, words are in the same sentence. It's kind of like an oxymoron, toxic positivity, right? But we live in this era of good vibes only. We live in this era of peace, love and light. And this is something that I see that's quite prevalent um, within social media. This is something that I see um, within human behavior is, you know, their repulsion and their kind of um, shunning of any other motion, emotion and experience other than happiness or positivity. Now, I want to discuss and get into why this is very flawed and why this is very unrealistic and why this is also very unhealthy. So you can only experience and appreciate the fullness of life by feeling all parts of it. And I think it's quite unrealistic, impractical and delusional to feel that we can only feel one emotion of all there is on the spectrum. And the reality is we can't feel that emotion unless the opposite of that emotion exists. And, you know, we live in a realm of duality. Um, one thing exists because its opposite exists. It's like happiness exists because sadness exists. Up exists because down exists. Right exists because wrong exists. And to really feel this fullness and understand this fullness of life, it's going to take you through the waves of experiences. It's going to take you through the waves of emotions. And to feel like you should you should shun everything else because you only want to feel good vibes or positivity, it's very impractical and it's very unrealistic and it can later create problems for yourself. See, I think first we need to surrender to and accept that life consists of a balance. Everything here is in perfect balance, meaning it's a blend of the good vibes and the bad vibes. It's a blend of duality. You know, I think like asking for good vibes or positive vibes only is like asking for it to always be a sunny day. Asking for, always, for it to always be nighttime. It's just asking for life to be very one-sided and life is about balancing that scale. You know, you need contrast in life. Contrast in life is what creates perspective. It, it is what gives you a full understanding of life and everything in life has its contrast. And it's important that we experience each part of this and we embrace um, all of this experience, even when it's unpleasant, you know, because these are, these are the moments that makes us really appreciate the good moments and the positive vibes moments and all of that stuff, right? I mean, look at mother nature. Mother nature is the perfect example of balance. Sometimes she is hurricane and tornado and earthquake and she's destroying and she's cleansing and getting rid of shit. And another time it's just peace, beautiful sunrise, you know, a nice hot spring day, summer day. Like she's the perfect balance of what we need to accept and surrender to in life, which is duality, not positive vibes only. Um, stop promoting toxic positivity. It's not helping anyone. It's, for, it's fraud, it's false and it's fake. And it creates more unhealthiness within us as human beings and our interaction with each other. And it creates more falseness, you know. No wonder, like, I went on social media the other day and I was like, God damn, like, sometimes I question myself. I'm like, I'm like, where do I fit in this world? Because the artificial timeline that's on social media, um, the constructedness and the curatedness of that false sense of happiness and perfection, and I'm like, Maybe I'm the only one with shit. <laughs> Maybe I'm the only one with baggage. Maybe I'm the only one going through stuff in life because everybody else seems quite happy and just, you know, everything just looks so perfectly curated. But, you know, I'm not saying that people need to be plastering their pain on online and stuff and plus airing out their dirty laundry but I feel like to really be authentic you have to really be about all facets of life. And I don't see that on social media. So sometimes I'm like, I don't fit in here because I want to come on here sometimes and be like, yo guys, like life is really shit right now. And I don't want people to be like saying, oh, you know, it'll be all right. Just look at the positive side of life. Think bright. I don't want any of that. I just need you to acknowledge that I'm going through some shit and life is shit right now, you know? So yeah, like it, it just perpetuate this sense of just falseness, 
um, toxic positivity, fake positivity, and really beneath the shadows, you know, behind closed door, people are really hurting. People are really going through stuff. People are really battling. And I think they do that with so much shame because of how society receives them when they're trying to express other things in life that they're going through other than positivity, other than happiness. I think this positive vibes only um, type of movement is toxic. I think it's escapism. I think it's denial um, of self. I think it, 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 slows and, it slows down and stops your healing process because you're not honoring yourself. When something shows up, a feeling or emotion or even sickness, that's an indication to you that something's wrong or that's an indication to you that this was buried somewhere inside of you and it's coming up. It's coming up because it wants to be released. It wants you to look at it first to acknowledge it and then it wants to be released. But if you suppress it by pushing it down because you're trying to keep within this good vibes only status quo, you're dishonoring yourself. You're denying yourself of healing. You're creating a more toxic internal environment for yourself. Because you don't want to sit there within that discomfort of feeling those feelings. When all it takes to really get rid of those feelings or to get past those feelings is sitting with them, honouring them and surrender to, this is how I feel right now. If it helps, even journal, write down what you're feeling, what's coming up, how you're feeling it. Grant yourself, grant yourself some grace, give yourself some self-love, process what you're feeling and then you move on. You don't need to push it away and be like, oh no, I, you know, these feelings are coming up. Let me push it away because good vibes only. This is negative. And I think this, I think a lot of this kind of mindset stems from that, you know, like um, on the emotional spectrum, you've got everything has different frequency and resonance. So you've got some that, some um, emotions and feeling that resonate and vibrate at a higher level than some. But this is one of the reasons why I feel like the spiritual community will kind of shun that and you know on this good vibes only because good vibes and thinking positive is all high vibrational but let me tell you something life is about balance and I'm going to keep throwing that word balance 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 think about a battery a battery does not work on positive alone it needs a bit of both and even though emotional spectrums may have different kind of wavelength in the in terms of their frequency and how you know they make the body feel the key part the key part of spirituality is alchemy. You have to learn how to turn your negatives into positive. You have to learn how to turn stuff around and alchemize it, alchemize that emotion, that feeling by sitting with it, healing it and bringing up, bring it up to a higher vibration. That's the key to spirituality. It's not about throwing it to the side, tucking it somewhere, somewhere deep in your mind or deep in your heart and be like, you know what, I don't want to deal with this, this is really negative, it's just draining me, it's this, it's that. It needs to drain you. You need to sit with it. You need to feel it to transmute it and to move on from it. Because if you don't and you bury it within you, it will come out in the form of sickness, even mental illness and other ailments within you or other psychological way within other um, uh, relation within your relationships or um, within shadow aspects within yourself. Like it's very important to embrace and honor the full spectrum of emotions that you feel and the full wave of experiences that you go through in life. And for me, like my biggest pet peeve is because I'm quite, well, I've grown to be a very expressive person and I'm quite, you know, true with what I'm feeling. And sometimes I don't want to go on social media and be fake happy and be doing reels and making life look like it's the whole bunch of roses because it's not. Sometimes I'm going to be like, you know what, guys, I'm having a tough week. And I don't want people to reply with feeling sorry for me or telling me that it's going to be better or anything that you're telling me that I already know. And I feel like this is people's way of um, dealing with it most of the time because they're not dealing with their own darkness they're not dealing with their own negative experiences they're not dealing with their own negative emotions so when you bring yours to them it brings them further discomfort because they're not even facing these this these, these uncomfortable uh, spaces and experience within themselves so when you come to them and be like you know what i'm feeling this way they want to quickly shut that down because they don't want to experience yours let alone theirs they've already tucked theirs away somewhere and hiding hiding from it and being on this toxic positivity good vibe way but meanwhile inside something's eating away at them and now here you comes along and saying oh you know how you're experiencing something and you're speaking about it because you're allowing it to show up 
they'll shut you down um, by either telling you that look at the brighter side of life um, you know it could be worse or it's fine you'll be all right and just any little thing like oh don't cry because it makes you uh, weak blah blah anything to just shut you down and to get you on the same toxic positivity as them meaning disregard what you're feeling right now push your hurt to the side and you know put your big girl panties on and get on with it it's toxic it's toxic you're creating more problem a problem does not go and go away by tucking it in the corner a problem does not go away by burying it deep in your heart and deep in your mind and trying to override it with something positive that's not how it works because it will catch up on you even if not now and you're pushing you're tucking it away it will catch up on you in one way or another whether that's going to be physical ailments within your body whether that's just going to be how it comes out in how you interact in a relationship it's gonna come out so your best bet is to sit your little hiney down face that head on sit in it and al allow yourself to feel that uncomfortable feeling until you overcome it see of course there's a time and place for positivity but not at the cost of diminishing someone's real experience and shutting them down um, we need to understand that healing is a process. It's you, and, and I see people do this a lot in relationship because they got their heart broken. They jump straight into another relationship because they want a band aid on that wound. They don't want to heal the wound. They just want someone else to come and cover that wound and you know give them a sense of comfort. Healing is a process, and if you really don't allow yourself time to heal. Whatever you're walking around with, you're gonna have to face because wherever you go, there you are. There's no escaping you. No matter where you tuck it inside of you, it's gonna come up one way or another. And most importantly, what a, peop what a lot of people don't understand is that your body is a message center. Um, every emotion is connected to something within your body, like within one of your energy centers. And I want you guys to check out my chakra videos just to further understand this, that the emotions that you bury deep within you comes out in physical ailments. Your physical ailments is a direct reflection of what you haven't healed on an emotional level and what stores in your what you store in your own body that your own body starts to bring it out in the form of an ailment so check out my chakra video for that one guys i'll probably link it with this one um, in the description or at the end but it's very important to understand that you can't run from you there's no running just sit and face it head on that's the best way allow yourself time give yourself grace give yourself love Forgive yourself, that's so important when you start to heal, is to grant yourself grace, grant yourself forgiveness, because once you start with self, anything you accomplish and you and, and, and you fool yourself up with, you can then extend. You can extend to other people, you can extend um, within your relationships. I just feel like people are not equipped to deal with these things within themselves, so when you go to them with yours, um, they are not equipped to deal with yours either. And while some of them are, are really trying to like help and you know lift you up, I just don't think they're equipped. They don't have the skills to, to, to know what to do in a situation like that. They'll tell you to do the same thing that they do to get through life. Or be strong. I hate that. I hate that term. Don't tell me that I'm strong. Don't tell me to be strong. I don't like it. I don't get up every day and feel strong. Someday I feel like I just want to go curl up in, in a corner and just be like, F this. I do, don't tell me to be strong. Because I feel like that kind of gaslights. I feel like I feel like that whole be strong kind of terminology is kind of telling someone that um, put a brave face on at all times and face it head on and you know forget about your, the broken parts of you and just stand up and be firm and be strong. Like I think it's so unhealthy. Um, I think it makes people hurt more on the inside. I think it creates a lot more um, damage to you on a psychological and an emotional level. Um, I just feel like while people may mean good, a lot of people are not equipped to help you through trauma, healing, you know, emotional kind of uh, patterns and, um, you know, psychological things that may come up within you. They're not equipped to help you with that because they're not even helping themselves. And if you want to know how someone will treat you and how someone will respond to you, just observe them. Observe how they treat themselves. Observe how they show up for themselves. Observe how they are in general. Um, I, I tweeted this before. I was saying that someone who doesn't respect themselves will not respect you. Someone who doesn't love themselves cannot love you. Someone who's not showing up for themselves cannot show up for you. Someone who doesn't value themselves will not value you. So a lot of the time, even though people mean well, people people can only show up for you as good as they're showing up for themselves. 
And people who don't show up for themselves will also tell you not to show up for yourself. So therefore, people who are tucking away their own pain and guising it with toxic positivity and good vibes only will tell you to do the same thing because you, you facing yours in front of them is triggering them and it's making them realise they're not facing these things. And again, it's uncomfortable. So I've got one experience that really sticks out in my mind. Um, it was I was at a funeral and, you know, someone was crying. And someone came over to her and tell her to stop crying. It's only going to make her weak and stuff like that. And she was crying because it was her mom. And I turn around to this person, I'm like, don't tell her that. Let her cry. She needs to cry. She's acknowledging what she's feeling and she's releasing it. And they start shouting at me and tell her, no, crying just makes you weak. It weaks you out, blah, blah, blah. And I sat to myself and I thought, what kind of crazy toxic mindset is that? That crying makes you weak and it weaks you out as a person. Crying is the body's way of releasing. You need to cry. It's okay to cry. And this is what I say, people who don't show up for themselves don't know how to show up for you. Let me tell you how you can show up for someone who is in a lot of uh, emotional pain, trauma or discomfort. You don't tell them to, oh, it's gonna be fine. You'll be all right, think logical. Positive vibes only, think positive thoughts. That's not how you show up for someone going through that. You can show up by having empathy, not sympathy. Saying just, sometimes people just want you to listen. If they want to talk, just let them talk. You don't have to even give any feedback. Just listen. Ask them if you can hold their hands. Ask them if you can give them a hug. Sometimes when people are sat in a hole, a dark place, they need to sit there. And you can show up for them by supporting them. Sit next to them, hold their hands, say, can I give you a hug? And sometimes just sit there and hold their hands in silence. That needs to happen for it to pass. That's what healing looks like. It's a process. It's not avoidance. It's not shutting down. It's not dismissing the parts of you that hurt, that, that's in pain. Your traumas that show up, the hurt that you feel. It's not about dismissing it and disguising it and distracting it with something else. Put something else in its place. You don't deal with it like that. It doesn't go anywhere. You just tuck it somewhere down inside of you and you're just allowing for it to come out in a more probably unhealthy and toxic way. And if you don't know how to show up for people who's expressing themselves and going through, you know, dark times or just, you know, feelings, show up for them by just being there. Your presence. Holding space for someone is when you have time for them. Holding space for someone meaning, you know what, I will listen to you. I'll be here physically for you. If you need a hug, I'll give you a hug. However I can show up for you, let me know. That's how, that's, what, that's how you hold space for someone going through something. You don't tell them, you don't try to distract them. You don't tell them positive vibes only. If they just want to sit down in their room in a corner and not speak to anyone, you can show up for them by going up to them, giving them a hug. Ask them if you can give them a hug. Ask them if you can sit next to them and just sit next to them. Sit next to them and just hold their hands. That's what it looks like. That's how you show up for someone going through something. You don't have to have solution. You don't have to try and take their pain away. They need to feel their pain. Because if they don't feel their pain, they're doing themselves a disservice and they're doing, them, doing themselves further damage and they're prolonging their healing process. I just believe, you know, even society on a whole, they make this normalized that if someone comes forth and they're expressing what they're feeling other than positivity or something happy the, you know society kind of shame them out of that you know society will laugh at them for someone crying online and stuff like that like that's where we are as human beings which is really sad because this is what casts shadows within people this is what create shadow aspects within people and this is a whole nother video i'll go into what your shadows are and how you develop them this is why people will have multiple personality this is why people will truly hide who they are a lot everybody you see really are wearing masks i'm telling you social media and and, and because my, i'm so hyper vigilant and my discernment game is so top notch it's like i see it and i'm like oh i don't know where i fit in here because I don't resonate with you and, and, and all this stuff going on here. Like, I, I never really trust people who likes to be perceived perfectly or pretends to be perfectly. I feel like these are the type of people you need to watch. 
like you have to embrace someone for being a wholesome person they're gonna have moments of anger moments of sadness moments of despair moments of pain happy moments positive moments and that's realistic that's wholesome and it you know we get through these kind of situations by how we account and hold space for each other and in society a lot of people get shunned for this you know um again people seeing people crying as weakness that's not weak if you're showing up to what's showing up for you that's real that's authentic if i show up today and i'm sad I'm being very real right now. I'm being very real with myself and I'm being very real with you. But because my sadness is making you uncomfortable, you try to shut it down or you try to demonize it. You try to call me weak. You try to this, you try to that. That's toxic positivity. So I'm not just a good vibes only type of woman here. You know, it's I'm not just a peace, love and light. I'm a light worker by nature. I was born to do this thing. It's a birthright. I'm here to do this. But... I'm not peace, love and light. Sometimes it's war and wrath over here. Sometimes I will burn shit to the ground and I will read you for filth, but I will love you in the same breath. It's not positive vibes only. It's all vibes only because I'm a wholesome human being. I don't have to be real and true to that. And you will get that from me as you go on to like watch my channel further that it's not just peace, love and light here. You know, sometimes I'm going to come with fire and I'm going to hold you accountable and you're going to feel attacked and burnt to the ground or whatever it is. But that's the reality of life. Like, I'm not going to come on here and be like, hi guys. Like, I, I can't do that. And that's kind of been like part of my process with the YouTube why I'm back and forth sometimes. Sometimes I just don't know where I fit in. Because how people come on here and just do one thing just repeatedly, repeatedly, repeatedly and be one way, I'm like... I, I don't show up like this. I don't know what you're going to get from one day to the next. I'm a whole entire human being. I've got traumas that I'm processing too. I've got things that's coming out of me that I'm trying to heal. You know. But anyway, I just want to wrap it up by saying that. You know, be more cognizant of your own feelings. And don't be afraid to express them. And if you are having a little... You know, if you're down in the, in the dumps or having a little funk. It's okay. Don't run from it. Sit with it. Heal it. And if you express this to someone and they're trying to diminish it and trying to tell you to tuck it away and that it's going to be all right, good vibes only, don't even go back to that person. It just means that they don't even know how to address their own stuff, let alone address yours. So your stuff is making them uncomfortable because they're hiding from their own stuff. So I just want to say that, guys, life is not just positive vibes only. That's really delusional and that's very impractical and very unrealistic. Life is all vibes only. Learn to take stuff, um, heal it transmute it alchemize it and bring it up to a better vibration and give yourself a better perspective of the overall thing like for instance you can sit and hurt and cry about feeling you know hurt or abused by someone or something and that's okay that's you acknowledging what you go through but then once you've healed it and you've sat with it or the discomfort of it you can alchemize that by then looking at it from a higher perspective like why did i go through this what did this do for me what positives came away from this Chances are it made you wiser, it made you sh stronger, it made you more resilient, it, it built your character, it taught you to love yourself more and not allow to other people to abuse you, it taught you to have boundaries. So that's how you really heal. You sit with it, you acknowledge it, you forgive yourself, you put forgiveness around the situation and other people and then you look at it from a higher perspective and take the positives away from it, then you move on. So that's it guys for this one. Um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Guys, don't forget to make sure you smash the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And do drop a comment and further, ex you know, share with me your experiences, you know, like within toxic positivity and just how, you know, you've shut yourself down or how you've allowed other people to shut you down as well. See you guys in my next video. Take care. Peace. Bye.